Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and we're getting ready to actually dino salt these. So long time coming. Let's see if this thing makes power. I really want to do this before we went to LS Fest, just didn't have the time, and it showed that we should have probably dinoed it before we went. But hey, we went, we're back. I'm actually maybe doing a no prep race tomorrow and then possibly LS Fest here in another week. So I really want to get this thing dialed in so we know the tune is on point, and all I got to do is go worry about making the car go down the track. So we're going to get this thing hooked onto the hubs and just start dialing it in. I'm not trying to go make the 1800 a day. We just want a good, maybe 1,000 horsepower tune-up in this thing. So we'll see where we end up. So AJ's over helping, Alex is helping. We got the car getting ready to, we got it hooked up. So all these looking good on the dyno. This actually all started, I wanted to make the last pass and then come dyno the car and try to make a 1,000 with an old combo. And then we hurt the motor. So I never, Salty never even made it on the dyno with the old combo, which sucks. With the new combo, the oil drain lines kind of have a, they don't have a huge downward angle at them. They got a little bit. So you have to be careful with how much slant the car has. So we're actually going to jack the car up, put it on some blocks up front so it sits pretty flat. Because if anything, this car usually goes down the track with a little nose up, not so much nose down. But hopefully when we get the radial suspension tied in with this thing, we'll get that rear separation, but not quite there yet. Well guys, as you can see in that video I just showed you, this was actually wobbling, so we're not sure it, like, it, it acts as if the axle is bent, but there shouldn't be, it's 40 spline, brand new axle, so it definitely shouldn't be bent. So we're probably gonna pull that set apart, check everything out, retighten it all up, see if it does it again. So hang on with this. Salty just does not wanna go on the dyno, just whatever it is, it fights us. So AJ's uh, looking at it. What, what do you got down there, big guy? I'm trying to see at the gap between the housing yeah, and the brake weird. mount, seeing if there's any gap or anything like that. Also filling the nuts on the bolts to see if they're like finger tight or finger loose. Yeah. In that last like clip I showed you guys, the front tire is obviously like, the front tire in this thing moves. See how much it moves on the tire? So not loving that, but I mean, Obviously, with the idling and the cam and everything moving, like, that's gonna move. It's not gonna be rock steady. So, I guess I'll try to make a little pull up in RPM, make sure everything's okay. I mean, the car in Vegas went 115, 120 mile an hour. So, um, I'll just watch my speed. We'll work our way up. It'll just be something we'll really watch close. We might put some jacks on it. So, when you put a jack on the frame rail to kind of stabilize the car from walking so much on the tires and on there, um, it definitely helped. So, huh, we're going back together with it. We'll just take it easy. We'll watch everything and cross your fingers up everything. little pool it seems like everything's happy on the dyno for the most part just maybe those tires and skinnies are wobbling around but we got 604 horsepower. horsepower so uh and seven something torque well, i'm gonna pull up the data log right now um 746 so she makes the torques so let's let's see what we got here uh that first little pull on the dyno it didn't like hold it back and then i just reset the dyno and then we we're good so let's see here we got we're up here, full throttle. She went to 5,292 RPM. Air feels looking good. And a whopping five pounds boost, which this is the same. We saw this same thing in Vegas on gate. It made right around five pounds boost. That was a full throttle pull. Um, so that's pretty much letting her eat. So you guys can see wide open throttle. I kind of rolled into it, but anywhere past about Let's see, boop, 4,000 RPM was full throttle. So um, a whole, I mean, 640 foot, let me see what uh, fueling is a little off. Current learns 2%, closed loop mm, is 10%. So I got to look at my fueling, just clean that up a little bit. But um, it looks like, I mean, on five pounds of boost, this combo is making 645 and seven something, which this is the same tune up or close to the same. Actually, probably cleaned up because this has a little more timing in it uh, than when it went 1040, which should have been a 1020 if I rounded out the back. So just kind of giving you guys an idea on horsepower to time. The where we're playing out on gate is probably somewhere from a 990 to a 1020, 
type power range. Just going to um, pull up the regular log and start looking at some of the fueling table and see, as you guys can see, nothing on the boost controller. I don't even have, I don't even have ice in the tank yet. I'm just running room temp water through the cooler right there. So that's actually, let's pull it up and see where we are at with intake air temp. Manifold air temp, a whopping 71 degrees. So I don't think, where are we getting warm? 72 degrees at the top. So um, I don't think we need ice in it yet, but as we start making more power and that starts to climb up, I think we're at 60 degrees in Vegas, which it's way cooler here in Colorado. It just rained recently. So uh, we're not fighting 90 degree outside temps right now either. So that's, that's a good thing. So as we start to make more boost, the temps start coming up, we'll add some ice to it here tonight. We had to stop and get a cooler with some ice in it for the dyno pulls. Oh yeah, we're stocked up. We're gonna throw three more pounds on the dome and see what we make on this one. So yeah, so 752 and eight something torques. And that, we'll pull up the data log, but that should have been right around eight pounds if it matches what we did in Vegas. Eight pounds and 800 horsepower is it's pretty pretty stout. So, uh, and we're still super conservative timing, super conservative on air fuel and all that stuff. This is just, just trying to get the car there and then we'll start chipping away at like making more power in that area. Everything's looking pretty decent. We're not bad, our fuel's tracking decent. Um, that was 7.7 .7 pounds of boost. Timing, I mean, I got a decent amount of timing in it. Nothing crazy though for what we got with the really good fuel in it. Uh, manifold air temps at 71 degrees. So that's still decent, but probably getting to where it's starting to gain some temp over the pool. Let's see, uh, 70, 71, so not really, but we could ice it a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's doing its thing. It definitely had some uh, closed loop on that one. So we started to rev it out 600. 66 67 we can do the math on that but that is probably somewhere near 180 mile an hour worth of wheel speed i would i would have guessed because the buick at 7600 with the 325 rear gear that's 200 mile an hour with wheel speed so this is 6600 but 30 rear gear so we actually have more wheel speed based on gearing so um yeah I don't know. we're making progress one one small step at a time maybe two to three pounds of boost at a time so aj just got done oh yeah we're full full you're welcome, boo. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, think probably one good ice probably not. I mean, it's only like 50 some degrees out, so it's not even that crazy. I just want to make sure it's got all the ice. It's only going to help. Uh, we might maybe make one more good pull and then figure out where we're at. I might pull a plug. We'll see um, just to look at it and make sure everything's happy. But, I mean, we're still pretty conservative. But we're making some progress boys we're gonna throw two more on top so it'll be five on the gate so this thing we'll see with three on the gate it made almost eight five on the gate it should make about 10 so let's see what this thing makes on about 10 pounds of boost something and it's crazy that this thing 6482 when i lifted and it kept going to 6700 rpm um that it carried 400 rpm after i pulled out of the throttle which is super interesting um not sure why i don't know if it's because like the long intake and kind of how that is because it has that much more air that it can continue to like kind of in a sense diesel the motor because it it's in the plenum so the motor's just using it um well let's see so right before i lifted 100 percent tps 9.1 pounds of boost made 963 horsepower. That's it. <laughs> what you're gonna do? It gets 20. Yeah, right. I think we need to go. This thing 
makes huge power. 12, 12 and a half pounds, let's see what it does, 12 pounds. Yeah, I'll put another two on it. It's gonna make 11. And on 12 pounds, it's gonna make 1100 horsepower. That is, that's, that is that's nuts. insane. That is making a whole lot of power very, very easily. And that is why we build a combo like this. Cause that is, you're, you're not hardly leaning on anything right now and it's making awesome power. So this is conservative time. I mean, I guess timing, that's still 21 degrees of timing, 12 and a half air fuel. So the tune up's probably about right for the fuel. Um, I have my nice thing is we can go over here and look at EGTs, make sure nothing seems real crazy hot. Um, and no, we're 1400 degrees in EGT, so that, well, that's pretty good. I need to figure out why cylinder three is not working, but uh, fueling's a little off. I want to go a little lean, so it wanted to, it probably, I need to throw some fuel at the map. It just wants more and more fuel, and now I know why, is because it makes so much power so low. So where you think this thing is not gonna make a thousand, it makes a thousand. So, I mean, nine pounds of boost and a thousand horsepower, it's wild. Almost, 960 something. Let's see how that ice did, huh? I'm gonna say 52. It's cold, so it's probably low, low. I'm gonna say 45 to 52 degrees. 45. 45 Manifold air temp, 45 degrees. Ice water doing its job. Well, pulled the hottest cylinder based on EGT, which was number four, and it's looking pretty good. I think I could probably pull a little bit of timing out of it, roll that uh, timing mark up a little bit over. But uh, I mean, honestly, not bad. It looks pretty, pretty good, pretty definitive. The plug is i mean it's, it's pretty rich it's not it's not super super clean so i think we got plenty of fuel in it maybe a little less timing a um, little less fuel maybe would be ideal but i mean shoot i think that's pretty good pretty happy and um we'll put that thing back in there we're gonna break a, try to break a thousand here not guaranteed but pretty sure we're gonna break a thousand here with um about 12 pounds i'm gonna put 12 on the gate I put 10 on the gate last time, so I usually try to go up by two pounds boost each time to keep working the fuel table up and all that type of stuff. So um, two more pounds on it, see what it makes. And I cleaned up some priming and added some fuel and all that type of stuff as we keep going. So, so let's see what it makes here. I know another reason why the horsepower changed. So I actually went up a level in the load on the dyno. So that will manipulate it from levels because it's pushing through easier than what it should be because it's overpowered for the load that the dyno sees. Um, so that is, that's probably part of the difference there too is because of the amount of load. So I went up a level and that's probably why we didn't see as big of a jump. If I go back down in load level, um, we'd probably see a little bit higher horsepower rating on that same thing because it starts to push through it. So. Um, I'm trying to keep the load right. We're going to make another pull, see if we can break a thousand here. peak power that's two 12.2 pounds of boost so um another two i mean we're looking pretty gosh dang good 12 pounds of boost and uh almost 1100 horsepower so not quite there but again conservative timing conservative fuel everything's looking good there so yeah pretty freaking happy about this so far so there it is a thousand eighty four horsepower thousand eighty seven torque out of salty only on like 12.2 pounds of boost hardly anything on this car uh, for a combo, they could probably do 30 or 35. So you can see this thing can easily go make the 2,000 
horsepower really. Um, 1800 probably will, 2000 on the engine, real, real easy. But uh, I'm gonna get this thing unhooked. It is like 1 a.m. and we gotta be at the track like nine if we're gonna do this no prep thing tomorrow. So I'm trying to get everything unhooked. I'll come back over, pick the car up in the morning and we'll go to the track. Gotta put slicks on the car, buy us plies. So that's better for no prep. I just went and picked those up from Joey at the track. Huge shout out to him for selling me a new set that he had bought and um, let me use those. So I think Salty is actually ready. I feel a lot better. It didn't pop, it didn't hiccup, it didn't miss on the dyno. Um, so maybe the things that I changed, the crank sensor or the ground or whatever I did over the few days of playing with stuff, everything seems super happy. So the Salty is freaking back, making some power. It's the first time I've officially made a thousand horsepower in Salty because well, we never had the dyno before. When we did it, and then we heard it right about the time I was ready to die on this thing. So, we can get this thing pulled off. So, Salty is back on the ground about an hour later, and I'm headed home. Be back early in the morning to load this thing up, go watch an Oprah. You might be asking, James, you've been saying this thing's going to make 1,800 horsepower, and uh, you didn't. Well, I'm not one to, like, just care about setting a dyno number. I actually want to take this thing out and not put it on the limit and try to break it here. I would rather take it out and have some fun and make some power with it. Really dial in the combo and keep creeping up on that tune-up to make 1800 horsepower. We could have definitely spent more time just keep beating on it, beating on it. But uh, let's go to the track and let's see what this thing will do. Tomorrow will be an okay deal with the no prep and then hopefully we can find a good prep track here soon and see what this thing will run. I show all my times. I'll show you guys the draggy even on the no prep because you know, I think that is cool to show you guys. You guys are watching the video. It's not so fun if you're just making you guys wonder what it ran. So Thanks for watching. If you would, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching Salty make over a 1,000 horsepower easily on super low boost. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video.